JBN, we keep you informed. Woman trying to cope after son dies in Tivoli incursion. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Vivian Badel's eyes welled up with tears as she stood outside her home with relatives as she recalled the Tivoli Gardens incursion which claimed the life of her son, 36-year-old Austin Dale. Dale, who was disabled and used a wheelchair to get around, was staying with his grandmother on Bond Street during the unrest. The security force then beat him out of Bond Street during the incursion and flew him out of his wheelchair. He's a next soldier give me daughter the money if he came to the hospital. But he never lived a week. During that time, I have to borrow money to try saving life and bury him. Right now, them same loan that may appear, she said crying. The security forces invaded West Kingston in May 2010 to serve a warrant on the Tivoli Garden strongman Christopher Dodos Coke. The violence from the incursion with large, which largely took place between May 24 and 25, 2010, claimed the lives of at least 73 civilians. At least 35 persons were also injured during the unrest. In addition, four members of the security forces were killed and more than 500 arrests were made as Jamaican police and soldiers fought gunmen in Tivoli Gardens. In 2017, the West Kingston Incursion Commission Compensation Committee, chaired by retired Justice Seymour Panton, suggested that cash awards totaling $134 million should have been made to the estates of men killed by the security forces during the incursion. Badel said she's yet to receive a penny. We write down my name more than one time to get compensation. But every time me hear say it not come up on the list. I'm sure I report the incident to the public defender many times. I true people don't even know. All people who wasn't here doing the incursion, I see them get money left me. Me never eat when my son dead because me have to use little money to bury him. Because me couldn't dash him like a doll, she said. When him for bury, the police they never want him passing and the casket come down here. And so I passed the woman stand up and says, a good pitney dead. Make him mad I go bury her son. Sometimes I remember, it may feel like me I go mad. But it's true, God I keep me. Money can't bring him back. But it's a lot me I go through when I lose my son. My little boy get a death where he never deserve, Badel said. Although the incursion took place several years ago, the tragic incident is still fresh in her mind. Badel said that as gunmen and members of the security forces traded bullets that morning, she sat outside because it somewhat felt safer. However, she said her motherly instincts kicked in and she knew something was wrong with one of her children. It's like me didn't know so something wrong, you know. During the encouragement, I me feel heavy and I sit down and cry. I see some little picnic around come and say, Miss Shirley, Miss Shirley, Austin dead, you know. And me say, me know because me feel it. And I just bust out a ball. And my neighbor, them all help me keep the night night, she said. JBN. We keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. Leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.